guys, it's Shannon, and today I'm going to turn an old farmhouse window into a nice towel bar sort of rack for my new bathroom decor. So let me show you what I'm doing. So I have this old farmhouse window in my stash, and it's actually one that I used in my fall decor above my kitchen cabinet. So if you'd like to see how I de decorated with this, uh, for fall, I will link that in the comment or in the description box below and also in the i cards. It's a really cool um, old window with these with the lead detail on it. So I am going to clean this up and add some hooks and a rail and use it in my bathroom. went ahead and just wiped down the window real good. I'll clean the glass after it's all put together real good. But here's what I got for hooks. These are from Walmart. They're just coat hooks and I got them in the bronze finish. So I have two of those, one for each side. I picked up these D-rings, D-ring hangers. I like to use these on the backs of my windows because they're heavy duty and they hold quite a bit of weight. These are the large size and you can hang them and put wire between them but I just hang mine straight up and down and put them straight on a hook. So the spindle I'm going to attach to the front and the bottom and it'll kind of act as a, another towel rod on the front. I picked this up from a reclaimed resale shop and if you have any of those in your area, I suggest you go check it out if you love all this vintage, old, antique, used to be sort of decor because you can find some really cool already used and authentic pieces at those shops. So that's where I found this and now I'm going to go ahead and get this all put together. So here are the little hooks, super easy. Just screw those right in there. And now I'm gonna start working on adding the spindle towel bar on there. I cut two little scrap pieces of wood and what I'm gonna do is attach these onto the front of the window. That way when I put the spindle on top, it will raise up and there will be this space behind it so I can throw a little hand towel on there. But first, I'm going to paint those with this Waverly chalk paint in white so it'll blend better. I'm loving the chippiness and the old worn look of the spindle and I want it to stay looking like that. So I'm going to clean this first and then I'm going to seal it all in with this polyacrylic and that will protect this finish. 